Hello, I'm Marta and today I will change clutch cable in my DL. I decided to do so because I used two aftermarket clutch cables and every single one melted a bit after a few hundred kilometers. So I thought to myself that I will get back to this original clutch cable which I removed two years ago and I will see if it will perform better but I guess it will. It was not working well but I looped it with this loop tool and I will install it back and check if it will be better. I remove the seat and the tank, but of course you don't have to do it. I just did it to show you better how to guide the clutch cable. But first we will remove the old cable and compare it to the original one and see what are the differences. First I will remove the clutch arm. Now I will remove the clutch cable from this holder and I will do so by pulling this to the right and up again and it's free. Here we have another holder but this is piece of cake. Voila! And here another holder. And it's free. Now we have just one mounting point left here. We just have to unscrew this screw and this nut so two grooves will be aligned in one line something like this and now we should be able to remove the cable like this Cable. Hello again! After a few days I decided to cut the video last time because I made a little try-on of this old clutch cable and it seems it doesn't work so well. As you can maybe hear, it's really squeaky and doesn't work smooth, it's really hard to pull it. So I spent last days waiting for new clutch cable which I've ordered. So let's see if it will be better. This time I bought more expensive clutch cable and it seems really similar to the original one. I was thinking about buying the original OM clutch cable, but it would take a week or even longer, so I thought I will give a try and try another aftermarket one. So let's check how it looks and if it will work better. Here you can see this cheap aftermarket clutch cable. Here is the original clutch cable and here is this new also aftermarket but more expensive clutch cable which I bought a few days ago. And at first sight you can see that this more expensive aftermarket clutch cable has this additional teflon layer added like the original clutch cable. 
Why the cheap aftermarket one doesn't have any layer added? When you compare the clutch cables at the other side, then you can see that this more expensive clutch cable has this plastic piece added here. This is the original and this is the cheap clutch cable. Also, regulation here is different in the cheap clutch cable, while the regulation in the in this more expensive aftermarket clutch cable is the same like in the original clutch cable. So now we will install this new clutch cable and see how to guide it as I promised. First I will move the clutch cable under the, the compression lever cable and install this into the clutch lever. According to the service manual, the clutch cable should go like the cable from the decompression lever, so under this speedometer. And it should go out here, as you can see. But I will lead my clutch cable another way. Uh, it will go, maybe I will show you here. I do this because the clutch cable is quite short and I have raised handlebar, so if I lead it this way then it will be less stretched out. Now when we are done with the handlebar, then here is the first clutch cable holder and we need to push the cable inside, of course. Here is the second holder. And here we have the last clutch cable holder. Now we will install the clutch arm. It's quite easy to do, but we have to remember one important thing, that there is some free play here and we have to turn the clutch arm maximally clockwise until we will feel resistance. You shouldn't be able to push this arm any further. Now we're back at the clutch lever and we will adjust the clutch cable length. So first we screw the adjuster almost all the way in. And now we lock it in position using this adjuster locking nut. Now 
now there is too much free play on the lever, so we will use another adjuster, which is here. So when we are happy with our clutch lever free play, then we can lock this adjuster. The last thing to check is the clutch lever free play during the maximal turn. So let's check first left. And it's okay for me. And the right. And it's also okay for me. So it's done. I hope this time the clutch cable won't melt or break again and it will last much longer and I hope this video was also useful for your clutch cable. So thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye!